This is called ice. This is what winter in America feels like. Oh, and Nims are on that list. <laughs> Yes, hello, this is Carrie. Pick up who? I'm just supposed to help them find jobs. You must be the guys from uh, Somalia, Senegal. Sudan. Did your luggage come down the chute? Great. Where is your husband? No, I'm not married. I provide for myself. Your survival skills are very impressive. Thanks. Well, like I said, I really did love this film. I wasn't prepared for how emotionally affected I would be. Like, I do wish I had some tissue, but it was so well written, and you two were fantastic Thank in you. it. Thank you. Yeah. So a lot of the characters are faced with some tough choices in this movie. What's a biggest this, the biggest decision you guys have had to make in your life so far? You'd say like either career wise or just a life changing decision in general. Ask them. Cause <laughs> my life. Is uh, I think that this this film itself for me um, was a decision that I, I had to make because at the time when I auditioned for it, I was in college, mm -hmm. and it was my last semester, and so. Um, they, the casting director had told me that, okay, if, if you're gonna do the film, they're gonna have to give up school because we'll be filming for about two months. And there's a lot of travel in between. And so I gave up my school, taking the opportunity of doing the film because of the script itself, because I felt that um, I needed to be a part of it because this was a, the history of my country. Right. And so knowing that, um, I, I took the opportunity, hoping, obviously hoping for the best. But um, yeah, I think the script itself for me was a, the sacrifice. No, same, same, exact same to me. Um, you know, it was a big decision to be part of this film, but a, a decision that I had to make. And um, um, it has changed my life being part of this film. Uh, you know, it's changed my life immensely. I've, I've, I've learned about my people, I've learned my, about my culture, things I didn't know. You know, coming from, my, my father's from South Sudan. Uh, and I came to the UK, so I'm being a refugee myself, and um, not growing up to know my father. I had to be part of this film to 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 grow and and to mature into a, in, into a man. You know, you don't. You know, there's a good saying is, you know, you don't know where you're going until you know where you've been. You know, and I didn't know, I didn't know where where my, what my father went through or, or what he's been through or where he's been. So this was a, a, a an emotional journey for me, but it was a big decision, and I'm happy I, I was part of it. Yeah, you guys made some good choices then. Yeah, <laughs> this is yeah. what happened. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the whole time while I was watching this movie, I kept thinking, like, I have to do something. Like, I, I want to do something. I just wanted to help out in some way because it just gives you that effect, like, when you're watching. And I was so happy that you mentioned the the good like fun because right after once I got home, I donated. Aww. Oh, thank, thank you. you. <laughs> and I, that's really rare that a movie can have that effect on an audience. Mm -hmm. Is there another movie for you guys that after watching it, you just thought, I have to go and like, you know, get inspired to help out for a good cause? Mm. Was there a film? I, I, I always feel like we have that effect in documentaries. Yeah. And that's why this film was also special too, because um, Philippe has that, um, I guess that special thing where he makes you feel like this is something that's um, in a way, it's very authentic, but in, it's, feels real mm -hmm. to people. But I also think film is this emotional language. It's a, it's a language that the whole world can speak. We can all watch a movie and get a certain value from it that is someone in China or, or someone you know in Argentina, we can watch the same film and we get it. We all get it. And so I've always believed that unlike a documentary, and this is what always kept me going, is I know that this film can break down barriers for all of us. It's funny, it's entertaining, it's, it's an ep intimate epic, but also that you can understand it, and so can someone a world away can understand it too and want to give that $5 to the Good Life Fund. We're asking people to think about South Sudan. We're going to try and make a difference. Awesome, awesome. And there's also a lot of humor in this movie too. Uh, one of the funniest parts to me was when the guys were thanking God for the miracle no, food, the pizza. The pizza. <laughs> I think pizza is amazing as well, but do you guys have a favorite food that you would also say is worthy of that title? Well, of, of the miracle food? Yeah, that you'd say is just as good. Dude, I'm telling you, this film, I had to lose so much weight, so I, now that I'm allowed to eat the, the, the food I want, I say steak. Oh, no. Steak. Yeah. The, the, boy, uh, the lot boys and girls, they love steak and orange juice, which are, I, and and then the Cheerios, that's my favorite. Oh, yeah, the Cheerios. That's, I had to put the Cheerios. I'm an obsessive Cheerio eater. And I'm, I'm also love, I personally feel pizza is a miracle food. I feel like it's sort of a universal, <laughs> like everybody feels it pizza is, you, you know. Yeah. That's why you laugh at that because mm -hmm. you go, in any language, airplane food is bad, pizza mm -hmm. is good. I will